Hello, this is the Trade Site U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Tuesday, April 6, 2021. Hope you had a good Monday. It was a good day for us, just a couple trades, but everything green, so no complaints. Here's a look at the ES Front Month Futures Contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market in futures form. New highs once again, obviously. Um, it doesn't really count as much because it was a holiday. So, we, like, Friday was a holiday here in the U.S. and the markets were closed. Thursday, we were up for... Um, you know, the, uh, you know, basically an in-between day between end of quarter and uh, holiday, a weekend. And now the rest of the world was closed today. So nobody was around trading except for here in the U.S. So we gapped up and held up. That's fine. I don't know. There's certain days in the market where you just kind of go, yeah, we'll see if it holds and it is what it is. Um, <clears throat> in terms of the major daily charts, let's go through them. Crude oil, 59.38, down uh, up 73 cents. Gold up $6 and... 70 cents, 7, 80 cents um, off the lows, obviously. S&P cash gains 58.04. Again, that's the S&P or the ES again. NASDAQ 100 was up 268 points, approaching highs. It's not even at all-time highs. SOX up 65, though, is all-time highs. Note the 13 sell signal, which already did what it needed to do. Let's be really clear how these signals work. The 13 sell signal back in February was supposed to take us towards the red static trend line. We hit it exactly. That's how that tool works. It's a very perfect technical tool. And then now you're curling up. But the risk line of that is coming up. So let's just see how we play with that. The biotechs up 21. Nowhere near highs. Not doing well. Russell 2000 up 10 points. It was actually down for most of the day. Uh, the 13 sell signal there was also right on the money. The VIX closes up 58 cents, but it's down at 1791. It's in the teens again for the first time in a while. The trend at 1.10. Puts the 10 day moving average at 1.30. NASDAQ volume 4.4 billion shares. That's the lightest of the year, the lightest basically since, I mean, we're, we're getting down into like pretty soon, another day or two down of volume, and we're going to be back into like Thanksgiving territory. Uh, advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ 823, I'm sorry, plus 746 on the New York plus. Uh, 824. So more stocks were up than down, but it wasn't as crazy as the day before. Google, though, shooting the new highs up 89.1918. Apple up $2.90, nowhere near highs. Netflix up $1.25. I think a lot of the Google stuff, by the way, is the announcement that they've got their own chip they're building for the next round of Pixel phones. So that's a big deal for them to get off of uh, anybody else's chipset. Uh, Amazon up 63, 65.73. And still, by the way, I keep saying this, basically where it was for 4th of July. It hasn't gone anywhere in over half a year. Tesla, way over that actually. Tesla up 29.30. It uh, gapped higher and then came back. Facebook, we made good money on Facebook today. Nice break. Look at that. That's a classic. I mean, you don't get much better than that, right? Up $10.25 to 308.91. Zoom uh, actually lost $2.27. Goldman Sachs lost four dollars and ten cents. TLT, the twenty-year bond ETF, down sixty cents. The Dow is up three hundred seventy-three. Bitcoin is sitting at fifty-nine thousand six hundred and thirty-five. Put call ratio is what it is. All right. Uh, Five-minute chart of the ES. You can see we gapped up, moved higher for about an hour and a few minutes, and then the rest of the day was dead flat. Again, the rest of the world being closed does not help us. We have nothing to gauge anything off of. So it's just another one of these zombie days where we just kind of head up. But, you know, we made money, so it is what it is. Actually, really good money. Um, in terms of economic data on uh, Tuesday, Tuesday the 6th, we have uh, some stuff overnight out of Europe. But Jolt's job openings here in the U.S. at 10 a.m. IBD tip economic optimism number at some point during the day. And that's that. So we will see what we get. Call it from the tape, plus whatever we put in the report, if I can find anything. Charts, as usual, brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken the trial of our services... Feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading week.